Happy days, my fantastic numismatic friends. Right, what we've got here is <laughs> my Tilgrade book. I still haven't sorted my sticker out because I'm thinking about doing my own. I'm getting another one. Not that I don't like this one. This one's perfect. But I'm thinking about getting um, a new Master Temple sticker. I'm thinking about it. Right, so what do we need anyway? Um, we need all four commonwealths. We need a gunpowder plot, which is balmy. We haven't had that yet. Same with the actor Union. We need 2008 Beijing Andover. The Olympic and we found the centenary last time, didn't we? Which was an absolute corker of a find. Um, we need King James Bible and 2011's Mary Rose. Quite hard to snag them too. Same with the Underground Roundel and Magna Carta. Now Magna Carta we found loads of in the last, you know, the last book of two pounds that we filled. Uh, we, but we had, we've not got them yet. Um, right, so we need uh, nothing else. <laughs> Come on, Dan, get with program. So there we go. So <laughs> 50p are doing so well, wanna? I are doing so well. 50p wise, we need Kill Gardens. Um, but who doesn't? And if you've got it, you need more because there's not many about. We need football, which is the only coin I haven't found in the circulation. The 50p's and two pounds, that is. Um, uh, handball, triathlon. And that is that. That is that. Right up to everything else. Diversity. Some odds and sods. An NAFC. And a little tally chart there. Which says that we've got 45. If we get it out of the glare. 45 diversity built Britons. Maybe I ought to start thinking about updating that tally chart. Maybe. I don't know. Right. So let's have a look at what coins we've got. Raiding the tills today. Right. So the first one. And the only £2 I've got is this one, Shakespeare Tragedy. It's a normal one, what a piece of work is, Dan. <laughs> it's just that. That's all I had. Well, it's not all I had. I had more, but I, there were Brunels and there were DNAs, and I thought, let's pump through Change Machine one more time and see if any Belter 50Ps come out. And they did. So that gamble paid off. Right, so um, we've got some 10Ps as well, because once we... Went through with the 10p, uh, 50p's, and we've got some normal shields and Britannias. We put these in, put them in the machine, and got 10p's out. And 100 pound later, 200 pound later, or so we've got two 10p's. One's a 2007 from Jersey, which is nice because don't get many 10p's. And the other one is again from Jersey, but that's a 2010. So definite keepers for me because I don't get many 10p's. Now a couple of weeks back, so a couple of couple of days back, a couple of weeks back, whenever this goes up, we we got a die clash, and I put a little shorts video up, and this is it. Now it may not show because of uh, because of the lights, but this is the coin, and I kept it to one side just because of, it was a it's got a bit of a thick rim there, and um, I thought that's unusual, and then I obviously draw your eyes to these, but you can't really tell. I'm going to try and zoom in um, in the edit to show you um, what all this is about. And if you haven't seen that little shorts video, uh, go check that out. I put a little doobly doo and bobbly bob or whatever it is up there in the corner, but it's not worth anything. I'd probably throw it back, but it's just something interesting to show there. Right. Yeah, they'd be glad to know we've got plenty of 50p's and some absolute corkers. Absolute corkers. So let's let's crack on with it. So in 2016, this coin was issued. And it was Beatrix Potter's anniversary coin. Beautiful coin. Will I keep it? Maybe. I've got a fair few now. Uh, we've got the 2006, the first issue of The Wounded Soldier. <laughs> That's old school. That's old school for heroic act. If they knows, they knows. Right, what else we got? We've got 2017. Very bright and shiny. Mr. Jeremy Fisher. Now, speaking of rims, <laughs> Jeremy's got a bit of a thick rim, hasn't he? Would have, because he's a, a toad. <laughs> Might keep that one as a bit of an oddball. Okay, right, so let's have a look at this one, 2020, Diversity Built Britain. So this one will be kept. I'll keep them all until we get the uh, the vintage figures and I'll pop it down onto the tally chart. Benjamin Bunny, 
that one will get signed, sent back into the wild for somebody to find. I'll, I'll scribble happy days on it or something like that. And if you find one, let me know. Tom Kitten, forever smitten with Mr. Thomas Kitten. <laughs> Could be a bingo caller. All right, 2017, got another, another Jeremy Fisher. Is that got a bit of a thick rim as well? No, that's normal. We've got two of him. Okay, 2019, Paddington. Paddington at the Cathedral. Whew. Come on, Belters, where are you? 2020, another diversity built Britain. Uh, another 2017, another Tom Kitten. So that's that, right? So let's get on to the next batch. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Look at all that lot. Crazy, isn't it? Crazy. Though I had my whole family doing the uh, the raiding of the change machines and stuff. So we've got a Christopher Ironside. Uh, we've got a another Christopher Ironside. <laughs> uh, right. Hope for album. Come on. We've got a Brexit coin. Yawn. Move on. Okay. 2016. What we've got here? A uh, Peter Rabbit. That's an absolutely stunning coin. That might get kept. I might, I might keep that one. There's around about nine million of them, so eight or nine million. So it's 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 whether you want to keep them or not. They probably will become rarer in time. Well, in time. And we we got Paddington at the Tower, the White Tower of London. He can sit right next to his mate there. Um, 2013, <laughs> another Ironside. Oh, I'm giving Christi Christopher Collects a run for his money on Ironsides, aren't I? <laughs> I wish. I wish, Dan, you, you fool. Okay, right. So, this is a bit of an unusual one. And I didn't get this out of the machine. I got this from the shop. And this is a uh, pretty grubby, but pretty nice coin to find. Um, it's Jersey, is it? Guernsey, Guernsey, Guernsey. Freezer flowers, so that'll be a keeper for sure. Don't find many Terra 350Ps. Well, we know what this means, don't we? We know what this one means. It's a WWF, and not a bad condition one either. Cracking coin, I like that one. That was a nice find. 2016, and we've got a Team GB. Well done to all our Olympians out there, especially the Taekwondo. Silver medal. For, um, for my mate from Doncaster. Well, what does this mean? What does this mean? Is it a queue? Have we got a queue this time? No. Wah, wah, wah. Wah, wah, wah. But, have we got one this time? <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, sorry for fooling you, folks. There's another WWF. But we found two, two in that week. Um, and we've got this one here. And this is not the star show yet. There's something else to show you after I've shown you this one. This one is a 2008. Looks pretty matted. It's been rubbed about a bit, I think. And it's a Flopsy Bunny. Not a bad coin. Not a bad coin. Um, so, yeah. So, when we look at that, we have got um, 2016, 2017, and 2018 Potters. But the star of the show for me is this coin here. And I got it out of the change machine. And it's absolutely beautiful. And uh, I'm trying to wipe the condensation off. Because it looks, it looks like a proof coin. And I want your, I want your views on this. Because you look at it here, 1998. Does the, does the queen look a bit foggy? A bit misty? Frosted, whatever we call it. And we'll turn it over. And there we've got the EU um, stars. So yeah, 25 year anniversary, I think it is, the EU. Now, I've got another one here, and this is just a normal one. This is just out of my spares album. So if we look, put them side by side, you can definitely tell there's some there, isn't there? So I want to know, folks, is this uh, EU one a, a proof coin? And I'm, you know, I'm, I'm always... I'm always a bit suspicious when they come out of machines and stuff. Has it just been broken out of somebody's set and taken on holiday and spent in an arcade and then a day or so later 
I raid it out of something, out of a machine, or I go over the counter, the change counter, I don't know, but look at the difference there. And we flip them back over again. You can definitely tell there's something, something a little bit cleaner than that. Whatever happens, this one, whatever it is, this one definitely will be getting put in a flip and put in my main collection. For sure. For sure. So we'll get rid of that old one there. But let me know your thoughts, my fantastic friends. Which is your pick of the bunch out of this slot? And <laughs> apologies about the two pounds, but that's the way it goes sometimes. So let me know. What have you been finding as well? Please comment down below. Give me a like. Give me a subscribe. You know what to do, folks. And until next time, take care, you said. Stay safe. And as always, happy days.